Hello and welcome to the scientific paper of the week. Woo yeah, this is a good one. Um, I um, grew up in Melbourne. Now, why am I telling you this? It's related to the paper, believe it or not. I grew up in Melbourne when I was 20, I woke up and I had an incredibly sore back. Not unusual for a 20 year old, I was surfing the day before, probably dumped on a wave. Who cares? That's all right, I'm 20, I'm bulletproof. You know, as you are, I'm 49 now. Anyway, so then I was sore back all day. Got better as the day went on, so I didn't think about it. Monday, it was agony. Tuesday, I called the doctor out. Wednesday, I was in hospital. Got out of hospital the following week. It got even worse. Went into another hospital, was there for four weeks with this, quote, sore back. Now, what happened? I had all these x-rays, all these tests. I was 20 year old. I don't, do not remember hurting myself. Don't know what, what I did to myself. I, you know, I didn't do anything. I went to bed, and back was fine, woke up sore. Incredibly sore. So this incredibly sore back. Uh, and they diagnosed me with a condition I'd never heard of at the time called ankylosing spondylitis. AS is it's another thing, or ankylosing spondylitis. Uh, well, first, the first question, well, what the hell is that? I said, well, it's an autoimmune disease, fairly rare, but not exceedingly so. And um, some people get it, and that was it. Um, that was 29 years ago. I had it for about six years. And then I went to one of these weirdo, idiotic, crazy naturopaths. And of course, then um, I fixed my diet and um, ate better and did things better and uh, got better. Here I am, totally fine. And there's no cure for this disease, but I don't have any pain. I went to the gym this morning, did squats, 100, 100 kilos, which, you know, people are going to go, I do 700. But, you know, I didn't do it because my knees hurt or my back hurt. I did it because I'm not that strong. So that's me. That's my story. And this paper that was released this year is a big review paper showing the association between a gut bug called Klebsiella and a lot of people have it, and an immune, um, uh, an immune genetic profile that about 6% of Australians have, and it's called HLA-B27. So I've been tested for that, and I'm positive for that. That means that I've got an overactive immune system, which is good and bad. Um, good because it's, it's good, but it's bad because you get diseases like this. So anyway, this paper goes on and it talks about the link between them both. Now. The interesting thing about this paper is that it talks about how the gut health can affect a disease that most people would not recognize it with your gut. I mean, ankylosing spondylitis, you get, I had a sore wrist, knees, ankles, a heel was sore, my lower back and my sacrum, or just above my buttocks was really sore, my spine was sore, and my neck was sore. Everywhere was stuffed except my gut. Now, the cause of ankylosing spondylitis is Klebsiella pneumonia in your gut when it reacts with that particular immune type. So it's really a gut disorder. Now what I did to help, help myself was I healed my gut by eating extraordinarily well, like you'd consider like a paleo diet. And my gut healed and I was on these pills and I kept forgetting to take them because I didn't need them anymore. Eventually I just stopped taking them, stopped going to the doctors. I was in my 26 at the time. And um, I was fine. My back just basically cleared up. So I didn't have any problem with that. So this paper goes into all the biochemical um, reasons why we have um, certain, uh, what, what, what the scientific community is now talking about is the fact that the gut microbiome is not just a, 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 a sea of bugs that, you know, there's it, good and bad. If, if, if you've got Klebsiella out there, uh, it most likely won't cause any symptoms in your body. But if you've got this genetic makeup and if you're unlucky, you could develop this disease called ankylosing spondylitis. And that's what this paper goes into all the biochemical links. Now what it does is the body, um, in this particular case, that type of immune system, the microbiome changes it so it starts attacking the joints and autoimmune diseases when the immune system, given the wrong signal by Klebsiella, which is a foreign uh, microbe, 
gets in there and tells the immune system to attack certain joints around the body. And so there's nothing wrong with your joints per se. They're just getting attacked. So it's an autoimmune disease and this paper goes, explores all the, the reasons why and, and, and what we now know. Now, of course, when I was looking at this, uh, it really doesn't, you know, it, it really, no one knew about it. But here's the big kicker, and this is why my diet helped. It's because the thing that needs to trigger this is starch. So starches are refined carbohydrates. So if you eat a lot of refined carbohydrates, like I used to, then it triggers all this process. I stopped eating that crap, my gut healed, the Klebsiella didn't get across and didn't get stimulated by any starch, and so my arthritis went away. So you need to be on a low starch diet, and that's what this, this paper is saying. So it's not just your gut bugs, it's what you eat. And remember the disease, you know, the disease that follows may have nothing to do with your gut, but this paper shows that it's all related back to the gut when it comes to diseases like ankylosing spondylitis, arthritis of the spine, knees, heel, it all comes back to the gut. So I'm gonna post this. So um, if you have any questions about it, have a read of it. And thanks for listening today and we'll talk again soon, bye.